As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. January 12th, 1978, at 12.52 p.m. St. Joseph, the Holy Spirit. The miracle of St. Joseph was given to the world to alert men to the reason for life and the manner in which they must act, proceed, and form their everyday living to fulfill the purpose of life. From this miracle evolves a format for men to seek out and to follow in preparations for the time each man will face the Father. It is easy to not think about facing the Father. It is easy to not accept the rules, but I say to you now, it is better for all eternity if you begin to see the course that you must take to fulfill the purpose of life for your soul's sake. Each man in the world is a miracle. Each man's soul is a gift from the Father. Each man's will is a gift to perform with, to perform in, and to use as a standard of living for the moral values intended by the Father to save one's soul. This child for whom I speak, a puppet, an instrument, a means to draw men's attention to what is right, what is correct, what is good, has, made, has been for some time the point of direction for men to listen to, follow, cooperate with, and coordinate their thinking from. Each man in the world must look to the goal of life, must understand that the purpose of life was to cooperate with the Father's will and to return him the soul. Each way that this child directs man's thinking in is a way, is the way, for all men to follow. Men must begin to understand that all things have a preparation to them, in them, and there is a reason for preparation in all things. Preparation is to see that the learning is taking place, the standard is established, the format accomplished, and the goal reached. So many times, men try to ignore preparation. They feel they have the ability to accomplish, without it, great things. Let me say this. Men call it experience. In reality, it is preparation. When all things were formed, preparations were made for all things to be formed properly and in the right place and manner. When the Father decided to create man, the preparation was made, and then he prepared man's physical to cooperate with his preparation and plan. He gave man the ability to walk in a certain way, to work in the procreation of man. This takes preparation. For each child born to the world, the physical is prepared, step by step. The mind is prepared, step by step, and so it carries on after the child is born. Each step is important, of learning, walking, of working in the physical, and in growing in the spiritual. If a man has faith, his faith must also be prepared. It must have a beginning and a growth period, and then an established way. Faith is truly a gift. It is like the will. Faith can become stronger or weaker, and faith in God is a special faith. Oh, my children, throughout the world, never ignore preparation, for in preparation, there is stability, there is control, there is discipline, there is practicality and a logic. You are loved in many ways. Teach the whole world to love God in every way. I am St. Joseph. 
I hold this child deeply, and yet I am at the control of what she is in, what she appears to be in control of. Know that this child is constantly controlled by heavenly direction for the good of all mankind in the world. So be it. I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. John saw the New Jerusalem, also known as Zion, in vision, but it is in the Book of Mormon that we learn that the New Jerusalem will be in America. A New Jerusalem should be built upon this land unto the remnant of the seed of Joseph, for which things there has been a type. For as Joseph brought his father down into the land of Egypt, even so the Lord brought a remnant of the seed of Joseph out of the land of Jerusalem, that he might be merciful unto the seed of Joseph, that they should not perish, even as he was merciful unto the father of Joseph, that he should perish not. Wherefore the remnant of the house of Joseph should be built upon this land, and it shall be a land of their inheritance, and they shall build up a holy city unto the Lord, like unto the Jerusalem of old, and they shall no more be confounded. This is Ether chapter 13, verses 6 through 8. All of this is in fulfillment of the prophecy, the blessing given by Jacob to his son Joseph, recorded in Genesis chapter 49, which reads in part, Joseph is a fruitful bough, even a fruitful bough by a well, whose branches run over the wall. America is the land of Joseph, which in part explains the amazing and wonderful blessings that America has received. It is the land promised to Joseph, who is the birthright son of Jacob. Until next time, happy reading.